What's going on guys, Sam back, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys 12 inch, the Riddler, based off of the Batman movie coming out in just a few days. So this is basically a larger scale of this smaller one here that we got, what, I think it came out a little over a month ago, or I, I mean, I know some people still have not found the Batman figures. Um, these are hitting Walmart stores first. I mean, when I went to the Walmart, if you guys didn't watch the toy hunting video, definitely check it out. Uh, they had a, a big Batman display from McFarlane Toys. I missed out on the Batman version of this, the 12 inches, three versions, a gold one, a black and red one, and the black suit one. So, um, uh, but luckily, I got to get this guy here. So it's a big packaging. It does come with the base. Has a card. Looks like the... I don't know if this is a card from the figure. I guess we'll find out in the back of the packaging here. Nope. It's going to be this. So it's just a card of the actual figure. Uh, big packaging. Like I said, this is a 12-inch scale. Is it 12-inch or is it 10-inch? I'm not 100% sure on... The, I don't have a measuring tape, but I'm, I'm assuming it's 12-inch. But let's open this guy up and let's see if this figure is going to be a pickup or a pass. All right, guys, so we're going to show you exactly what he does come with. So here is the collectible card that you do get with the figure. And then there it is there. So it's just an image of the figure. It actually looks really good, though. If you look at it in person, it almost looks like a shot from the movie. And then the cool thing is you also get this base. So it's like a wood floor. It does have two pegs, and then it looks like there's some bricks or some, some kind of like debris on there. And then there's the bottom. Um, not a whole lot going on with like with the base. I mean... I, I really don't know what this is what this is. I guess we'll find out like in the movie, I'm assuming. But it's pretty cool that we get like a different type of base and not just your regular circular base that you get with a lot of the McFarlane figures. All right, guys. So here we have the Riddler. Now getting a close up on him, you can definitely see way more detail than the the smaller scale, the seven inch scale. But he does have that like plastic around the head sculpt. I don't know if that's supposed to be like saran wrap or something, but you still can make up the uh, make out the hair and the, the ears. But I really like the detail like, closely on him. You can see the eyes, the glasses, the little breathable piece right here for the face, the nose, and then you can kind of see the jacket a little bit better. So he's got the question mark here on the uh, left side. And then you can see a little bit of detailing as far as like sculpting go or, or stitches, buttons and wrinkles. He's got the drawstings from the hoodie that he's wearing underneath. And then he's holding the, this, uh, the people said it was an ice pick. I believe that that's what this is. So you have that, there's the hoodie in the back and you can see the under hoodie that he's wearing cause he's wearing two layers of jackets. And then he's got his black pants. So you can see the detailing on that. And then you have his black boots, which actually look really nice very very nicely detailed and he does have peg holes at the bottom and then the cool thing is they even added the tape that was one thing that the seven inch scale figure was missing but since this is a larger scale i don't understand why they just didn't give him like since it's pre-posed basically i don't know why they just didn't give him like a, a pose where he was stretching out the tape either way though it's still cool um he's very limited in articulation so you're gonna get Let's see, I don't even wanna break this guy's head sculpt. It does look like he does have some head rotation, uh, a swivel in the arms, very stiff though, man. I don't wanna break this. Rotation in the hand, nothing in the waist or the legs. It's all pre-posed and then he does, no, he doesn't even have any, I don't think he has any foot rotation. No, it doesn't look like he has any foot rotation there. So that's pretty much it guys. This guy is basically a statue. That is what he is, just pretty much a statue. So let's get him on the base and do a comparison. All right, so right here I have him standing on the base. Now you don't need the base to get him to stand on this. He stands perfectly fine on his own. But I mean, since they did include this, you might as well put some use to it. And then if you bring out the seven inch scale one, now there is a little bit of color difference, especially like right here, he has the question mark painted more so on the jacket. And this one here, it's kind of in the pocket and it's a darker green. But I mean, they're still both great figures. They come with the same exact accessory. Obviously, one is way more articulated and smaller in scale, but this one didn't include the tape. You can see right here, he's got the tape under his jacket hanging from there. But yeah, this guy is definitely a 12 inch scale figure, but there's a little bit of comparison. I mean, it's really up to you on exactly which version of the Riddler you're gonna want. And there you have it, guys. There's my quick little review on the McFarlane. This is the 12 inch scale, the Riddler 
action figure, more so pre-posed. And honestly, for me, I know a lot of you guys prefer the articulated action figures. I am I I pref I like either or. Um, for me though, for Spawn, I think this is what he does best: is the pre-posed kind of statuesque figures. Uh, so we'll put the seven-inch one right next to him just so you can get like another scale or, or a little comparison just so you guys can see exactly you know it's it's really up to you which one you want the they're both great in detail i was going to say the 12 inch one is probably way more detailed than the 7 inch one but in reality they both are super super detailed they both look great but it's just your preference if you want a statue or a larger scale figure to have on display then this is going to be right up your alley it's about twenty dollars more to pick up the, this version. I can't wait to see what the Batman one's gonna look like. I'm I to have them both side by side. I don't know if McFarlane's gonna stop there, if he's gonna give us any other characters to go with these 12 inch scale figures. So let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a pickup, is it a pass? And I uh, are you excited for the movie? Let me know. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about the design of the Riddler, but we'll see how all of this plays out in the film. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Later.